I love the VIC chip on the VIC-20. It provides a simple yet flexible video display and one of the features that can be quite useful is the ability to alter the picture origin on the TV screen. So this feature allows us to move the position that the screen displays on. Uh, so we can move it up or down and we can move it left or right by changing either of two memory locations. So the two memory locations are uh, location 36864 uh, or hex 9000 and this one controls the horizontal TV picture origin and on a PAL system such as the one I'm using it defaults to 12 and then the other location is 36865 and that controls the vertical TV picture origin and on a PAL system it defaults to 38. Uh, for the horizontal TV picture origin the uh, default on NTSC systems is 5 and for the vertical TV picture origin on NTS systems it defaults to 25. Uh, the, um, the location 3684 is a little bit more complicated than it looks in as much as only bits 0 to 6 are used to control the horizontal origin. Uh, bit 7 is the interlaced bit uh, but I'll ignore that for this uh, video because uh, the machine I'm using it defaults to 0 anyway so it, it doesn't need the, in the interlaced bit. So I'll demonstrate these locations being changed. So if I change the horizontal TV picture origin, which it uses location 36864, normally it defaults to 12. I'll shift it to the left a little. So I'll shift it to position 8. And there we are. We can see that it's moved it to the left. And if I move it to the right, and there we are, and I'll put it back to what it was. So each time we move it, uh, it moves the origin by four pixels. So if we go to the left, it moves it four pixels to the left. If we increase the number by one, it moves the picture to the right by four pixels. And we can do a similar thing with the uh, vertical location. So we'll change that, it's normally 38, we'll change that to 30, there we are, and move it down, a little bit further than that, a bit clearer, there we are, and then uh, we'll put it back to where it was. To demonstrate this a little bit more fully, I'll create a program to uh, scroll the screen uh, using this. So uh, we'll do it in basic. Uh, we'll run it twice uh, with different colors. So if I create the program, um, so I'm going to first of all find out the vertical picture origin uh, that the screen defaults to, or is currently set to, assuming we haven't already changed it. And we're going to start the program by getting that default location and then scrolling from a position that's off the bottom of the screen to the original default location. So the, so the poke there changes the, uh, the origin and then We'll put a delay in so that it doesn't scroll too fast. And then we'll move to the next one. And if I run that, there we are. You can see how that's neatly scrolled up the screen. Uh, to make it look a little bit nicer, we can change the colours. There we are. That'll give us a black background and black border and we'll also change the text to yellow. So let's run it again. Yeah. 
So as you can see, that works really well. And we can do a similar thing with the uh, horizontal. So in this case, we'll just go through and change the location from 3685 to 36864 uh, and we need to change the, the position off the side of the right hand screen so I'm going to scroll from the right hand side of the screen to the left now and I need to increase the delay because when it moves Horizontally, it moves two pixels at a time, but when it moves vertically, it moves, uh, sorry, the other way around. When it moves horizontally, it moves four pixels at a time, and when it moves vertically, it moves two pixels at a time. So, uh, put this into action. And there we are. Display, change properly. Yep. So that works fine. Uh, so that's a nice little demonstration there of the horizontal and vertical. And uh, you can use your imagination as to how to make that more effective. You can even use it for a smoother continuing scroll by uh, shifting the pixels using the scroll uh, and then um, redrawing the characters along that line. I might show that in another video to show how to get a smoother scroll, which can be quite useful particularly for games, of course. To make things a little bit more interesting, I'll also create that vertical scrolling program in uh, assembly language. So I'll use the Vicmon monitor, which I've uh, demonstrated in a previous video uh, about creating a TTY simulator. And I've also written some articles about that, or at least at least one article about it on the Tech Tinkering website. Um, the code, by the way, for uh, the basic programs and the assembler program I'm about to write is on, also on the accompanying article on the uh, Tech Tinkering website. So I'll assemble into the into the cassette buffer as we've got some free memory there that uh, I don't need for this program. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a jump at the start of the program and then I want to create a variable after it or at least some room for a variable and I'm going to do, store the default location uh, for the vertical picture origin so I'll uh, yes. there we are and then I'll store the default location at 033F and then this will be the start of my program now at 0340 or the proper start of my program so I'll load X with the location of the, the location of the origin and then I want to decrement it because it makes the loop easier at the end and I'm going to store that in location 033F and that I made space for above and then I'm going to I'm going to um, start off with a location an origin that's off the bottom of the screen and then I'll store that in 9001, which is the uh, vertical picture origin and location. And then I need to create um, some loops now, uh, just to waste time so that it doesn't go too quickly. fairly standard uh, way of looping, uh, delaying sorry, and then I'll reduce the, uh, I'll reduce the 
current origin that we're using uh, that we're keeping in the accumulator. So I'll reduce that by one and then I'll compare that to the default value that we recorded in the 033F. And then we'll loop through again. We'll go to 340 where we first I uh, know it's not right. Three, four, nine. Sorry, where we first store the origin, and then we'll break it. Okay. Okay. So let's run that, and there we are. That works perfectly. I'm run that one more time. Brilliant. There you are. So you can see how easy it is to alter the horizontal and vertical TV picture origin and how it can be used to scroll and as I say there's uh, more information on this on the uh, art accompanying article in the Tech Tinkering website and I hope you liked seeing this do subscribe to the Tech Tinkering YouTube channel and have a look at some of other, other articles on the uh, on, on the website and some of our other videos <laughs>